it's just a drag. You know what it is. Yeah. Woodstock free vibes, homie. And welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here make sure to subscribe and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial okay this is my first time trying out these beautiful butterfly locks that I've seen so much of and I love the way they turned out y'all like these look so cute and y'all it's a secret or whatever but apparently there's a technique that you can do that makes your hair look like it's in parts but you don't actually have to do the individual method so today i'm going to be showing you guys this technique as it's my first time i'm going to be just showing you i'm going to be showing you kind of how i navigated this as well as teaching you how i achieved this look i will be leaving all the information about this hair in my description bar below so make sure to check it out this hair was sent to me by Toyo Trust, and I love, love, love how it came out. So without further ado, let's skip this chatter going on here, and let's go ahead and watch how I achieved this look. Let's do it. Toyo Trust did send me seven packs of butterfly locks, crochet extensions, and I'm going to be installing them today in front of you guys and showing you guys how I did them. So this color is in 1B and they are 12 inches long. Today I'm going to be doing the invisible part and I'm going to be showing you guys as I'm doing it. Like I said, my hair is natural and is short. My parts are going to be decently large just because I want to get this over with as soon as possible. Um, next up, I will potentially be taking some extensions and adding it to the hair just because as you can see my hair is really short. And if I'm going to be doing the invisible like art method, I will want to make sure I can attach this braid to this braid. So um, definitely gonna need some more length on that, but shouldn't be a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and take some expression hair. I'm just going to cut it right there in the middle. I don't need a lot, so honestly this might suffice for my whole head of hair. Don't need to stretch it because I, I don't really need any of that really, to be honest. All right, now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and take my piece of hair and I'm going to go ahead and braid. Woodstock free vibes, homie. Homie, homie. Music is my lonely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. I've been up since I don't know where I am. Trying to create a vibe. Yeah, yeah. Trying to get these hours in. Hours in. Punching the clock, I get it. Gotta go hard with it. Hard with honey, it. honey, I'ma start with yeah. it. Coach looking for starters. Yeah. Hop in the game, I'm like hardin', hardin'. Ballin' hard and it's ballin'. Ballin' hard and it's ballin', yeah, yeah We put in this work, you know this Early birds don't do no trippin' She sing my catalog, I said I'm proud of them So this is what we are working with so far As you can see, it looks absolutely crazy Literally absolutely crazy But I'm gonna go ahead and begin um, taking the two um, braids and I'm just going to connect them and then I'm going to do a cornrow going downward. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin this all up just so I know what I'm doing. And I'm going to take these two and I'm just going to cross this over like that. Okay, after I get that cross going, as you can see, just looks like two separate piece, two separate like boxes, and then it's just combined. I'm going to now begin the corn roll going downwards. I'm gonna add a little bit of gel on this piece of hair just so I can get more traction, and then I am going to just begin the corn rolling process with my hair. It's just a drag. You know what it is. Yeah. Woodstock free vibes, homie. On it, on it. Music is my lonely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. I've been up since I don't know where. So now that I've just finished up the cornrows going all the way back, I'm just taking the last piece of hair and braiding it cornrow style all across 
just to kind of, you know, give me that braid back here. Of course, this back probably looks crazy, but we are going to put the extensions in so we don't need to worry about the aesthetics of the back, okay? The kitchen back there, we don't need to worry about that. I'm probably just going to crochet it in with that one. All right, so now that we have made it this far, as you can see, we do have our visible parts that you can kind of see, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and begin the crocheting process. I will be using the very, very mostly used crochet pin. It looks like this. I'm going to start by making sure that these holes are open like this. Um, these holes look pretty good, so I don't think I'll need to do a lot with them in terms of making sure they're open. It looks like it can fit the lock through it, so we are good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my crochet pin through the hair right here. I'm gonna now put the lock on the needle right here, and I'm going to close that latch and pull through. And once I pull through, I'm then going to take the end of the lock, and I'm just going to kind of put it through right there. Just like that. And that's basically what the first one looks like. I am feeling it so far. Let me go ahead and continue this process and show you guys what it looks like when I am close to finishing. It's just a drag. You know what it is. Yeah. Woodstock free vibes on me. Music is my lonely. I've been up since I don't know where I am. Trying to create a vibe. Yeah, yeah. Trying to get these hours in. Punching the clock, I get it. Gotta go hard with it. Hard with honey, it. honey, I'ma start with yeah. it. Coach looking for starters. Yeah. Hop in the game, I'm like hard it. Ballin' harder than spotting, hey. ballin' harder than spotting, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. We put in this working notice. notice, notice. It's just a drag. You know what it is. Yeah. Woodstock free vibes on me. Music keeps my lonely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been up since. All right. So this is the final look, y'all. It looks so good. It's not even funny. Like they look like individual parts. And that is what I wanted to accomplish. As you can see, honestly, this style is a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. Um, the locks do look very natural and just don't have that like fake looking luster to them. I prefer my hair packed up just because it kind of just gives my face that accentuation or that, you know, look that I'm wanting to go for. So I really, really do love it. I was a little worried about the color being 1B because as you all may know, if you've been sticking around for a while, you know that I dyed my hair, not one beat. What are your thoughts on this style on me? Feel free to comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this style. If you would try this style, what your thoughts are on this style. I definitely would have preferred this method versus, you know, putting them in one by one because I don't have time for that. But I know people do that and that's cool too. If you are new here, make sure you're subscribed to my channel for new videos like this. Follow me on Instagram at TV for all things Instagram and my life on that side. And make sure to like this video and share it with a friend. Let's go ahead and give you guys some more details into this hair before I sign out. What I love most about this hair particularly is the lightweight nature. I really do love how natural looking the locks look. They don't look shiny or just super plastic looking. They just look very natural. So I really, really do love that. I do love the ease in which I was able to install this hair. That always makes the hairstyle better, right? So yeah, definitely, definitely would recommend this hairstyle if you're looking for 
for a quick style to throw on your hair that is also very very cute so make sure to check it out and thanks for watching this video and i will see you guys next time bye Work, you notice. Notice, notice, notice.